everyone welcome back to my channel so tonight for dinner I am going to be making a recipe that I saw from Lydia Bastianich um, it is super simple it's going to be pork chops with broccoli and garbanzo beans and some pepperoncini and I basically said the ingredient list it is that simple as well as of course olive oil and salt not even cracked black pepper so I have my washed broccoli and drained and rinsed chickpeas kind of drying off a little bit. Um, some kosher salt, my pepperoncinos, some olive oil, and I did seek out um, a higher quality butcher. And I got a few pork chops with the bone in. It, you don't have to use bone in, you could just do regular um, pork chops without the bone but since they had it I went ahead and got it so I am starting out by preheating my oven to 425 and I went ahead and put the sheet pan on the bottom rack to heat up what you're going to want to do is to put the pork chops on the hot sheet pan and leave it there for about five to ten minutes depending on the thickness of your pork chop this is to get some color on one side and then when you flip it over um, you're going to add your beans and vegetables that have been dressed with olive oil and salt okay so my oven is ready <laughs> but i'm just going to let that continue to get screaming hot um to my broccoli and Beans. I'm adding some olive oil and some salt and this is just going to get tossed and it'll be ready. And also to my pork chop we're going to go ahead and coat this with some olive oil and salt. And um, another good thing to note, you want to let these come to room temperature a bit. So if they've been in the fridge, um, maybe take them out for about 15, 20 minutes. So I've gone ahead and pulled out the baking sheet. And you want to hear that sound when you put down your chops. And I'm gonna put this back in and let it just caramelize on that side. Okay, so I have it for less time. I put it my timer for like seven, eight minutes because I don't use really thick cut like like Lydia did. But I went ahead and turned it around and I'm gonna add my vegetables and the garbanzo beans and put it back in the oven. So I actually forgot, um, you want to add a little bit of water as well as the pepperoncini, like the peppers here, um, and about a quarter cup of the brine as well. And it'll um, just coat the very bottom of the pan. When it steams in the oven, it'll kind of flavor everything. And then that will just continue to cook for about another half an hour or so. I will check on it maybe at the 25 minute mark just to see if it needs more time or not. It is so simple, I can't even believe it, but I'm crossing my fingers that this comes out well and that I like it so that I would make it again in the future. So it's just finishing up in the oven. I did um, turn on the broiler for a few minutes and I'm gonna check on it. And putting it under the broiler is again, just to get some color. It is cooked through, I, the meat, the pork is cooked through, um, but I just want a little bit more color. The other thing I did, um, I have some rosemary that I just cut up and to kind of help release the flavor just like hit it against your hand and this will just perfume the plate. So I just took this out of the oven. It needs to rest for a few minutes. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you get a chance to try this out. You can even make a really easy meal during the week and not just the weekend. 
And as always, please remember to like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all next time. Thumbs up or thumbs down? <laughs>